Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To, and I want to talk to you guys today about automation and specifically the automation tools that I use in my home lab, as well as production environments. There is absolutely nothing wrong with performing tasks in your home lab using manual means. However, as you start to progress in your knowledge base and want to learn better ways to do things, that will translate not only in your home lab environment, but also production environments. Automation is a great next step. It allows you to perform many tedious tasks in an automated way. And this helps things to be streamlined, consistent, and overall, it makes things more secure. Grab a hot cup of coffee and let's dive right in to home lab automation. first tool that I want to share with you guys that I heavily use in the home lab is a tool called HashiCorp Packer. HashiCorp Packer is an open source, self-managed, freely available tool from HashiCorp. I use HashiCorp Packer extensively in the home lab environment to create automated builds of Linux virtual machines such as Ubuntu, as well as Windows virtual machines. Windows Server 2019 and Windows Server 2022. You can use Packer as part of your workflow to automatically build home lab resources and use these with other tools like Terraform. Packer is a self-contained executable, as you can see from the command window. You simply issue the Packer build command and Packer will then look at the configuration files that you have in your directory and based on those configuration files, it will reach out to the environment that you have pointed Packer to, create the virtual machine, and configure the virtual machine as set forth in the configuration files. Packer will automatically take care of all of the necessary operating system configuration needed to fully automate the installation of your operating system. And again, in this case, we are looking at an Ubuntu 2204 virtual machine. You can also do really cool things such as slipstreaming in the latest updates for your Linux distribution. And the same holds true for Windows virtual machines that you use Packer to create and build. All in all, it's a great tool that I continually use in the home lab. Another fantastic tool that I use extensively in the home lab is a tool called Terraform. Terraform is also produced by HashiCorp and it works extremely well with the machine images that we have created using HashiCorp Packer. Terraform allows you to automatically deploy virtual machines that are created from those templates that we automated using the previous tool, Packer. Terraform is a declarative tool. So basically you tell it, I want the environment to look this way, whether that is with a particular virtual machine or a particular configuration, Terraform then makes that happen. Just like Packer, one of the things that I love about Terraform is that it is cross-platform. You can use Terraform with VMware vSphere, you can use it with Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google GCP, and many others. Terraform is a single executable that you simply execute from the directory that you want to run Terraform from. You have configuration files or state files that Terraform reads, and from these files, it makes the environment look as you have specified in your Terraform configuration. As you can see here, I am using Terraform to clone a vSphere template that was created from HashiCorp Packer. Terraform here is giving us all of the additions to the environment that it is going to add to VMware vSphere, and the result is going to be a new virtual machine. With Terraform Apply, you simply validate the changes that Terraform is going to make, and you enter the value of yes to tell Terraform to proceed with the changes. There's also the notion of a Terraform plan, and Terraform plan basically tells you what it is going to do. It's similar to like a what if with a PowerShell script. 
you can then review the changes which look similar to what we see with the Terraform apply when it asks us to validate those changes. Another extremely powerful automation tool for both the home lab and production is PowerShell. And PowerShell needs no introduction. In fact, I would venture to say most that watch my channel would be familiar with PowerShell. However, I use it extensively in the home lab environment, especially with VMware vSphere, as well as automating various things inside of Windows guest operating systems. However, as of PowerShell Core, PowerShell is now cross-platform, meaning you can use it in Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So that is super cool. I use VMware vSphere's Power CLI, which is an extension to PowerShell. It's basically a module that you can install. And that's one thing I really like about PowerShell. It's extensible. Most manufacturers, most vendors, they have a module for PowerShell. So you can easily pull down a module from the PowerShell gallery that is free and publicly available and manage various types of infrastructure, even vendor specific solutions. To show you how easy it is to install VMware PowerCLI, I have a PowerShell core command prompt, as you can see on the screen. All you have to do is issue the install module VMware.PowerCLI command. This will ask you to validate the install and to trust the PowerShell gallery. After you answer yes to trusting the PowerShell gallery, the PowerShell VMware PowerCLI module will begin pulling down automatically. And after just a couple of minutes, it will complete the install. This adds all of the VMware specific PowerShell commands to your local PowerShell environment so that you can interact with your VMware vSphere environment. We can then use powerful tools such as Visual Studio Code to interact easily with VMware PowerCLI or any other PowerShell module for that matter. As you can see here, I am using PowerCLI to easily query specific virtual machines that match certain naming patterns, making it super easy to find the virtual resources you want to work with. And you can do the same thing for configurations, for snapshot operations, or deleting VMs. The last home lab automation tool that I want to share with you guys is Ansible. Ansible is an awesome, really powerful automation platform. With Ansible, you can use what is known as playbooks to align your infrastructure with the configuration that you have set inside of those playbooks. Where do I use Ansible in the home lab? Ansible for me is extremely valuable for running updates across my home lab environment. I can use Ansible to keep all of my Linux VMs up to date, as well as Windows, Windows Server, Windows Client VMs that I have running in my virtual infrastructure. I can use a playbook and target those Linux and Windows VMs and make sure that those updates are applied. I've also used Ansible in the realm of VMware vSphere. Ansible has many modules that allow you to interact with VMware vSphere for configuration management purposes, such as setting NTP servers on ESXi hosts or other configuration parameters. Here you see I have an inventory file with several Linux VMs. I'm running a ping command to verify connectivity. Next, we are going to run an Ansible playbook that updates all the packages that require updates on the Linux VMs to their latest versions. And this is a very simple playbook. What do you guys think about these automation tools that I use in the home lab? What automation tools are you using? Are you using Packer, Terraform, PowerShell, maybe PowerCLI, or Ansible across your home lab? Are there tools that you would like to share with the community? Well, please do make note of those in the comment section. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. I hope this has been enlightening as to the automation that I'm using in the home lab. Hopefully you found this valuable. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon.